Hi, my name is Grace and I am a CIS Sandbox Tutor. And in this video, we will cover how to set up your Cengage and MindTap account. Before we get started, there are two ways to get access to Cengage Unlimited. One way is to buy it through the Bentley Bookstore and you will receive a code that you can then input into your Cengage Unlimited account. The other way is to buy Cengage Unlimited through Cengage using a credit card when you create your account. First, you will navigate to your Blackboard site and then to select your course. And on the left here, there should say Cengage or MindTap course access, depending on where your professor has provided this link. You can click on that. And here you see two links. Either of these links will work for CS100. In this example, we'll just click on CS100 concepts. This will bring you to the Cengage login page. Once the page loads, you'll be prompted with a Cengage sign-in. If you are having trouble accessing this page, make sure that your browser allows you to have pop-ups on the page. For example, if you're using Chrome, you can navigate to your settings by clicking settings. I have this tab open over here. You will navigate to privacy and security. You will scroll down to site settings. Scroll down to pop-ups and redirects. And down here, it'll say allow to send pop-ups and use redirects. Right now, you can see I only have Blackboard on here, so I will add one. And you will do bracket, star, period, bracket, and then the name of the website, which is sengage.com. And click add. So now it'll allow me to see pop-ups on the Sengage website. So next, you will be prompted with this login. You will want to click Create Account, Student, and make sure you type in a Bentley email address here or else you won't be able to access your courses. I already have an account on Cengage, so I cannot set up an account, but next you will be prompted to set up an account by entering your first and last name and some other information. Once logged in, you will see the course that you clicked on pop up here. And it'll say payment required since we haven't added a method of payment yet. At this point, if you have a Bentley bookstore access code, you can enter the access code right here. Otherwise, click continue and you can add your credit card information. Here it'll say ready to buy. This is the Cengage Unlimited. You have four month access and you'll click buy Cengage Unlimited. Then you'll be brought to this page where you can enter your information. Here you will enter your billing information. For the sake of this video, I put billing as Bentley's address, but you will put your own billing address in this area and you will click next. There may be an alert like this. You can just click use match address after clicking the address. And then here you will enter your card number and then complete your purchase. As you can see here, I only have temporary access to my textbooks. That is because I didn't actually go through with my credit card purchase since this is only a video example. If you do not go through with your credit card purchase, you will have temporary access to your textbooks, but this expires after two weeks. So it is important to get this done as soon as possible because you cannot get through your CS100 class without access to these books. That is all we will cover in this video. If you're struggling at all with this account setup, you can visit the CIS Sandbox in Smith 234 for more assistance, or you can contact your professor. Thanks for listening.